Hello friends, welcome to Inside Text. This is a platform to learn about power transmission elements and its control system. So friends, continuing in the substation equipment testing series, today we are going to learn about current transformer ratio test. So there are few pre-commissioning tests that are performed on the current transformer. We have seen CT polarity test, CT ratio test we are going to learn in today's video. There is CT knee point test, 10 delta test that is performed on CT and IR value is taken for the CT. We will see all these tests in detail in our further videos. So friends, let us see now current how current transformer ratio test is done and why this kind of test is required on the CT. So what are the requirements to do CT ratio test? First is a variac between 0 to 220 volts. Second is a current transformer that can convert 5 ampere to 60 amperes or above. Extension wires will be required. Slip-on meter will be required. So we have given the explanation about the basics of current transformer. What is the primary and what is the secondary and how the internal construction of a CT is done in our previous video. You can check the links of, for that video in the description box below. So now let us quickly just understand how some basics about CT. See, for the CT, there is a primary winding that is denoted as P1 and P2. And here uh, there is a secondary terminal box where we can get secondary terminals. So uh, inside the CT terminal box or say secondary terminal box, you will see few terminals like this. These are all the terminal points. This is the 10 delta point and here earthing is provided for the CT. As you can see, 1S, 2S and 3S, this indicates that this is a 3 core CT and also there are different terminals, 3 terminals in each core, 1S1, 2S1 and 3S1, right? So, this indicates it is a dual core CT, dual ratio CT, okay? So, how it can be, how the ratio can be identified and let us see in the video further. So let us now quickly see the electrical diagram of a CT. This is the black represents the primary winding of the CT. The brown small windings represents different core over here. So each core is given a specific name. This is a metering core, protection core and special protection core based on the purpose of the use. So this is the primary P1 and P2. Okay, and for each core we have 1S1, 1S2 and 1S3. Right, as it is a dual ratio CT, we are assuming the CT is having two ratios 600, 300 by 111. That means whenever 300 ampere is passing through the primary, we, on the secondary side we will get either say, 1 ampere. Okay, so you can connect this for 600 or you can connect this for the ratio of 300 by 1 also. Okay, so if we are providing connections between 1s1 and 1s2, that means the CT is connected on the ratio of 300 by 1. And if the connection is done between 1 and 3, that means the CT is connected on the ratio of 600 amperes by 1 ampere. Okay, so this is some basics and basic of electrical diagram about the CT. And this is the ratio that we are talking about that has to be tested. So now let us see how do we test this ratio. So friends, let us understand this one more time. See, whenever there is a 300 ampere current passing in the primary, on the secondary side, when it is connected between ratio 1s1 and 1s2, I am getting 1 ampere as the output. So in the CT ratio test, we have to check this only, right? So 
these are the terminals across which we will get one ampere current. Let us see how to perform CT ratio test now. So, we will require a variac okay, between 0 to 240 volts. Second is the requirement of a current transformer. Next, we will require a few extended cables to provide connections between all this. And last important thing we will require will be a clip-on meter to measure the ampere on the primary as well as on the secondary sides. So, let us quickly see the connections, how the connections are made. Okay. So, variac, output of the variac will be connected to one side of the current transformer. The other side of the current transformer, output of the CT will be connected to P1. Okay. And on the P2, other side of the current transformer is connected as you can see over here. So, this completes the current path. Okay. Uh, next, we will have to measure the amperes or current on the secondary side through inside the terminal box. So, what we will do is we will connect 1S1 and 1S2. Okay. And we will measure amperes on the secondary terminals over here. Okay. Through clip on meter. Okay. We will also measure amperes on the primary side using another clip on meter. Okay. Now uh, let's do the test. We will perform the test now once all the connections are made. Okay. First of all, we will have to provide supply to this variac. AC supply. So we will provide AC supply to the variac. And you can change the voltage levels for this variac also. Variac and you can, we will see all this output. Okay. So once the AC supply is given. We will now change the voltage level. We will change the voltage level to the limit that we get 30 amperes on the primary side. Okay. Now, if the CT is connected on the ratio of 300 by 1 ampere, whenever there will be a 30 ampere current, approximately 0 0.1 Amperes current will be flowing through the secondary. So you can see you are getting 0 0.105 amperes flowing inside the secondary. Okay. Now let us check another ratio. We will remove this uh, link between 1s1 and 1s2 and instead we will connect it between 1s1 and 1s3. So now the CT is connected to the ratio of 600 by 1 ampere. So whenever we will be providing amperes on the primary side equivalent amperes will be obtained on the secondary. So let us check that. You can increase the voltage. So that 30 amperes is obtained on the primary side. As it is connected between 1S1 and 1S3, the secondary side should have 0 0.5 amperes. So you are getting 0 0.05 amperes. Okay. That means the ratio for this is okay. Now let us check for higher amperes. So now let us set the voltage levels in such a way that we get 60 amperes on the primary side. So we will set the voltage using variac and we will get 60 amperes on the primary side. So equivalently on the secondary side we will have 0 0.102 amperes. Okay. Why? Because this is connected on the ratio of 600 by 1 amperes. Okay. So, this is how the CT ratio test is performed. So, friends, you can see over here a compiled table of different readings that we have measured. Okay. What are the primary and primary amperes and what are their connections on the secondary side and how much current we are getting on the secondary side. Okay. Up till now, we have learned just a basic concept about how the CT ratio test is performed. But in present conditions, we have few current injection kits available. This kind of kits are already available in the market. Using the outputs of these kits, you can easily measure the ratio of the CT. 
so friends this is all about ct ratio test i hope you understood the concept about it and please let us know if you have any queries in the comment section below keep watching our videos thank you